Welcome back to the time of your life. I'm your host, Ethel Rasmussen. Valuable and up-to-date information has everything to do with making well-informed decisions based on your resources and options. Community Resources 2022 is that informational source and is now available. With us today to share news about Community Resources 2022 is Debbie Orlove, Community Business Liaison at the Baltimore County Department of Aging. Debbie, welcome to the show. Ethel, thanks so much for inviting me. Community Resources 2022 is a well-known publication. Can you share information about this resource? Yes, of course. Um, Community Resources is an annual regional publication printed in partnership with the Baltimore County Commission on Disabilities, which is now under the Baltimore County Department of Housing and Community Development, along with Baltimore City Government. We are so pleased to be able to offer Baltimore residents the opportunity to use this powerful resource. And it's now celebrating its 25th edition, 25 years of senior resources, which has helped so many communities and individuals along the way. Um, The publication's content targets information for adults, baby boomers, caregivers, families, children and adults with disabilities, and of course, professionals use the resource on a regular basis to support their clients and patients. Debbie, why is a publication like Community Resources important? That's such a good question. Um, Community Resources is important to connect individuals, communities, and even professionals with the information they need to know. And in our opinion, good decisions are made when consumer options are readily available, when they're up to date, and diverse in content to meet the needs and requests of the population that BCDA serves. So we believe that this publication supports one-stop shopping and packs both convenience and critical regional information into one publication. Each year, the content of the book is enhanced with features to provide a user-friendly experience, as well as an enriched content. Can you share some of the changes made with this latest edition? Yes, that's such a good question, because every year we always strive to make the publication user friendly because um, it's so important that everyone that reads the publication understands how to identify the information and resources that they need. So the contents of community resources spans categories from adult daycare to volunteer opportunities. So the book is diverse in subject matter. And as you could imagine, the audience that uses the book is just as diverse. So each listing in the publication is verified on an annual basis and updated. So the content contains the most current information available. And you know that changes year to year. And to support the users of the resource, We also pay particular attention to categories that intersect multiple multiple topics in the book. So we place significant emphasis on cross-referencing. And I think it's important to give an example of um, cross-referencing. So I'd like to take caregivers um, support as an example. Um, Information to support caregivers may be found in nine other categories. And if you're the reader looking for information on this subject, you may not know all the categories in which this information would be found. So that's where cross-referencing comes into, um, is so significant because at the beginning of each category, um, it'll it'll tell you where else to look for information about um, caregiving. Um, The book is also online at um, W, it should be on the screen too, but it's at www.baltimorecountymd.gov community resources. And again, this is so important because it has accessibility features. So again, we're making the book user-friendly to a diverse population so that you could either enlarge the font or you, it also has a read aloud feature, which is wonderful. Um, if you're vision impaired, you're able to hear the content of the book and also obtain the information that you need. Thank you for sharing that this is an online publication as well, but if interested parties or businesses and organizations are interested in receiving copies or picking up copies, where can they go? So we are so happy that our 20 senior centers 
Our open last year was a bit of a challenge, but we successfully got the book out into the communities, both the city and county. But this year, um, please pick up your copy at one of our 20 senior centers. Um, Baltimore County Libraries are a wonderful partner in helping to distribute the book. Um, the, our map office, um, Baltimore County, Maryland Access Point, will mail one copy um, by calling 410-887-2594. Our office offers bulk distribution of 100 copies or more. Um, you could either call 410-887-2002. Um, or email sponsor bcda at baltimorecountymd.gov. This information will be on your screen. Um, please include the name of your organization, how many copies you would like, the contact person, and your hours that you're open and someone from our office will contact you. We're also very, very grateful to have Gershbeck's Food Market in Middle River be a distribution point for the book, as well as Rite Aid Pharmacies in Baltimore County where you could also pick up copies there as well. Um, at Rite Aid, the rack for community resources is usually located near the pharmacy department. So um, please go back to the pharmacy department and you'll see copies there. Um, again, as I mentioned previously, um, you could call our map office. And because the book is a regional book, which includes Baltimore City, please call. I encourage everyone in Baltimore City to call their map office, which is 410-396-2273. And also, if you, need a, if you need information that's in the book and you can pick up a book, you could always go online. I'll repeat that. Online is available 24 seven, the luxury of having an internet source available to you at www.baltimorecountymd.gov forward slash community resources. Uh, community Resources is a revenue-producing publication. Can you explain? Yes, I would be happy to explain because this is such an important part of the book and making it available free of charge to the constituents of Baltimore County and Baltimore City. Um, so there's highlighted listings and lodge ads throughout the book that support not only the printing of this book, but also BCDA's volunteer program. Um, it's also, uh, from a business perspective, the book is a powerful opportunity for businesses to showcase their services and their products. So, you know, even though this book is printed, there's next year, which we, as soon as this book is printed, we start accepting ads for the following book, whether it's highlighted or large ads. So please feel free to call me directly at 410-887. 2012, or feel free to email me at dorlove at baltimorecountymd.gov. Um, not only do we have opportunities for this book to support your, um, your um, products or services, but also there's a wide range of events that we're having this year. We're thrilled that we'll be able to offer most of our events um, in person. So there's so many things that we could offer. I would be happy to plan your marketing budget with you. So again, please give me a call at 410-887-2012. Debbie, thank you for being a guest on today's show to share information about BCDA's Community Resources 2022. It's my pleasure and thank you again for inviting me. We're gonna take a short break. When we return, learn about BCDA's Center Connection Program. <laughs> 